All right, so what's good, YouTube? So today's video is about my top five fashion influencers. And what I mean by influencers are people that influence my everyday style, people that I follow, people that inspire my my style, my fashion, you know, my wardrobe, you know, my everyday outfits, all right? So these people are very different. Um, and what makes them so different is the way they put their own creativity into their own style. And that's called individuality. And that's one thing that I praise about people, like when they're able to be themselves, no matter what other people think. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna give y'all my top five fashion influencers. Um, I think you should give these people a follow, um, especially if you're into fashion. You should definitely give these people a follow because I feel like they influence you too, and I feel like they inspire you too. So with that being said, we're gonna start this video. All right, so. I'm about to give you guys my top five fashion influencers, and it's not in order. Um, no one is better than the other. They all are their own self individual individually, and I just think that we all should respect the fact that these people are different and that they all are dope. You feel me? And we shouldn't rank no one higher than the other. Like I don't like when people rank each other because this person doing their thing and this person is doing their thing. So with that being said, you feel I'm gonna give you my first, you know, on my list. On my list, my first. Like he's not number one, but he's my the first one on my list that I wrote down. And his name is Mark Wilkins. Um, a lot of people may not know Mark Wilkins, especially people that follow me. He may not know Mark Wilkins, but um, he's a he's a hoop. I don't know if he went pro or anything like that, but he did play college basketball. And as you know, a lot of people that play basketball can really, really, really get dougie. And like his fashion style is very, very, very urban. And like, I like his style because he wears things that people forget about. Um, benches, t-shirts, you know, old school Air Forces. Um, he don't, he not caught up in all the hype of the releases that come out today, you know. Even though we all may, you know, see something that we like that come out, like, you know, when Virgil dropped the Off-Whites and, you know, when Yeezy dropped, you know, a lot of us, you know, buy that stuff. That stuff that people actually like, but, then again, you have people that buy stuff just because it's hot or just because it has a nice price tag on it, you know, and they want to say, oh, I have on a thousand dollar pair of shoes. I feel like this person, he's more about the history of the sneakers and, you know, the story that it tells. And he always, like, every time he wears an outfit, like, it tells a story. And he owns this brand, I don't know if it's called Vertigo or B-R-T-I-G-O. I don't know what's the exact name of it. Um, but it's mad, mad, mad dope. And like, I've been like, I'ma definitely cop a shirt from him because this shit is, is cold. Like, it's very, very, very cold. And I think you guys should follow him. Like, you feel me? If you really, really into fashion and you're a sneakerhead, this is definitely someone that you should follow. All right, so number two on my list would be definite, would, would definitely be Tiana Taylor. Um, you feel me? Like, I had to put Tiana Taylor on my list. Um, she mad, 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 mad dope. Um, Tayana Taylor is so diverse with her fashion that it's crazy like She can go from like Bikini model one day to a tomboy the next and like that is mad like that's crazy Like a lot of people cannot pull that off You feel me like a lot of people will transition into this tomboy look and they can never go back You feel me Tayana Taylor is one of those that can do whatever it is She put her mind to when it comes to like fashion like She's from New York you know, and the, the women in New York, when it comes to fashion, they go crazy. Like they like top, like, like they don't, they're on top of the list. You feel me? They don't, they don't have like, they not like the other girls in the world. You feel me? They're not scared to be, they're not scared to put on sneakers and rocking with dresses. Like that stuff, like Jersey, like all that stuff started in New York. Like we gotta keep it G. Like New York is one of the top places when it comes to fashion. And they birthed a lot of stylists, a lot of fashion influencers. And a lot of wardrobe styles like New York is on the top and like Tiana Taylor's from there and I love her style like even with her and um with her and Iman Shumpert together it's like mad dope like that's something like if I was a relationship that would be something I want like all right Iman Shumpert and that Tiana Taylor type relationship like they go hard together you feel me and even before him like she was still going crazy with the fashion like this lady is amazing you feel me and I know a lot of y'all gas up the wrong, like, I ain't gonna say the wrong people, but y'all gas up 
I think regular stuff, like things that anybody could do, you feel me? I don't think the things Taylor and Taylor do with her fashion, anybody can do, you feel me? I think that's a gift that God specifically gave her. So with that being said, you know, I had to put Taylor and Taylor on the list, you know, and we on to the next. Okay, so the next person I'm gonna give you guys is someone that's very, very, very underrated. Very underrated. Um, I met this person before a while back. Um, back in back when when I was like I was in this group called Fly Die, and you know we do music videos and stuff, and my homies was rapping. You feel me? And she was in like in one of the music videos, and like I met, I even knew her even before then, but that was my first time meeting her because she came down to be in that shoot, that video shoot. But even before then, I remember like me come sit with her, like she was in the military and stuff like that. And she was even mad dope then. But right now, like she had transitioned, like she was dope then, like she was crazy then. But now you feel me like the shit done got out of hand. Like she go crazy, like her style is crazy. And like, you feel me like, I think she's well known on Instagram, but she's not well known in the fashion industry. And I think she needs to be, you feel me? Um, And that's the real Sue Young. Um, if you guys follow her, you know you you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, definitely go follow. Like she is another one that's very 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 diverse, and like she understands like the history of you know the thing that she wear, and she also supports a lot of local brands and a lot of small brands, and she also you know wears a lot of designer stuff, but she knows how to mix it up so well to it's it's so pleasing like it's so sexy. And I think we missed that, you feel me? We all, you know, go online and we just wanna wear Balenciagas, um, especially women. Like, y'all just wanna wear the YSLs with the Chanel, you feel me? And, you know, a local, you know, designer dresses. You know, like, y'all, that's what y'all like to do, you feel me? I have no problem with that, you feel me? But then again, it comes a time in your life when you just switch it up. <clears throat> and when you switch it up, I mean, like, there's other ways you can go, you feel me? You don't always have to show your ass, your titties, you feel me? You don't always have to wear tight clothes. You don't always have to, you know, wear your toes out. It's okay to, like, switch it up. You know, be a tomboy sometimes, you know, wear sneakers sometimes, wear long socks, wear jump shorts, you know, with a jean jacket. Like, that shit is dope to me. You know, that shit is dope. And, like, this, this lady, like, this woman is amazing when it comes to shit like that. Like, I don't see her go from modeling lingerie to niggas going thirsty in her DMs and in her, in, in her comments to her rocking some tomboy shit like on some smooth ass like nigga like I'm, I get duggier than my boyfriend type shit you feel me and like I ain't gonna lie like I'm the type of dude like I want me and my girlfriend to have those kind of battles like who can get the freshest today like that's the kind of shit I'm into you feel me like those are the kind of things that I like you feel me like and this person right here is very 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 cold with it so with that being said, you, got, you guys should definitely follow the real Su Young. She dope and she underrated, and I feel like you guys should give her a chance. You feel me? With that being said, we on to the next. All right, so this next person, like, you feel me? I think he's another underrated person when it comes to fashion, and he goes by um, Killer Travel on Instagram. Um, he played for the Kansas City Chiefs, um, and the guy is so like dope, like. He mad dope with it, you feel me? I done seen this guy go from, you know, suit and ties to straight thugging it, you feel me? Like, you know, like the man to like, the man just dope. Like, I can't even explain to you. Like, if you go on his page, like, it's nothing that you won't see in the fashion industry. It's nothing you won't see. Like, he has done almost everything, you feel me? If he hasn't, he's going to, you feel me? And like, you feel me? I know a lot of us, we follow OBJ. You feel me? We follow, you feel me, Jarvis Landry when it comes to fashion in the NFL. But I think this guy has got to be the coldest person in the NFL when it comes to fashion. And I think that we all need to recognize that. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you feel me, this dude, he puts his shit together. He puts shit together. And when he put the shit together, that shit tells a story. It's so dope. You feel me? And his shoe game is just like Mark Wilkins a little bit. You like he will wear some exclusive ass shit and it will go so hard with what he put on. It don't have to be like like I said, everything you wear don't have to be expensive, you feel me? But then again, ain't nothing wrong, ain't nothing wrong with putting on a fur coat, you feel me, with some hard ass Travis Scott's, you feel me? Ain't nothing wrong with that. But this guy, 
he does it all. Like, even his suits, his suits are crazy. The nigga suit game is better than um, fucking Steve Harvey. The nigga suit game is stupid. And like I said, when it comes to fashion, you have to be diverse. You feel me? If you can't switch it up, then you're not into fashion. Then you're not you're not a fashion influencer. Like I need you to put on, I need you to make things look better than what they are. You feel me? Like, and that's what fashion is. You feel me? Fashion is putting on things and making it look good. Not it make you look good. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, definitely follow Killer Child. You feel me? The guy dope. You feel me? White boy go crazy. All right, so last but not least at all, like I promise you, like this person right here, I, I promise you, you feel me? If you follow this man's page, you will love this man, like content. You feel me? Pat is dope. Pat is dope is that dude that can wear anything. You feel me? He like I have seen him take some of the the, the worst releases. And put it on and he just make it look so dope and so exclusive and like a lot of us we 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 lose sight on things because it's not everyone don't like it and this guy he brings light to a lot of things that people don't like that people should be liking you feel me and his content is not hype content yes we all have hype shoes yes we all have the off-whites and the you know the designers yes we all do that but this guy, I feel like he's very, 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 very diverse when it comes to his fashion. Um, and if you watch his videos, like he will, he be putting, like he put me on to like a lot of shoes, like especially like Puma and Reeboks. Like he would definitely like rock some shit and make that shit go cold. That shit be cold. And like I think we need to respect that kind of that that kind of content. You feel me? Because all we do is watch Case on Fire, you feel me, watch uh, Sneaker News, and we just wanna see what, what's gonna sell and what everybody's gonna like instead of what we like. And this dude, he feel me like, the, the, the smallest things, you feel me, he may go hard. And I done seen him rock some crazy, crazy shoes and make them, make them look so dope, you feel me? And I have never, like, I don't know nobody else on Instagram that's doing that because Nobody else, nobody else on Instagram had this man's mindset, you feel me? He feels like a lot of the stuff that we miss out on are the stuff that he gonna capitalize on. Another man's trash is another man's treasure. And I feel like if you really wanna be different, this is the person to follow. This is definitely the person to follow. If you want some, some underground shit, like some shit that everyone not gonna wear, some shit that you may not never see on nobody else's feet, Come, to, come watch this man content like this man is dope so with that being said i'm gonna conclude this video thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and if you don't god bless you you feel me you're gonna subscribe sooner or later but i thank everyone for watching i appreciate everyone that subscribe all of you like i love you guys you feel me and i'm gonna keep making these videos i'm gonna keep giving guys content and i'm gonna keep inspiring other people to do the same thing with that being said, we out. The Prince TV, keep blessing me. Thank you.